Hello everybody, Mikey with Hologram here, and this is the last video in the Hologram Dashboard 101 tutorial where we're going to be focusing on routes and the console or logs page. Um, if you're curious about the other videos, which are linked below, we do have one uh, for the settings page, a overview of the device page, and then a deep dive into a specific device. So highly recommend checking those out if you're curious. Um, so let's take a deep dive into routes. So for those of you who don't know, routes are uh, the tool that you use to take your hologram uh, implementation to the next level. So they're all integrations with awesome services. Um, and I highly recommend using them because it really enables you to do so much more with the data that you're already uh, acquiring. Um, so to get to that, you just click on the routes uh, page here on the left a navigation bar, and it'll take you to the routes page and just kind of giving you a quick overview. We have uh, this header here that allows us to create new route, search routes by topic, sort by name, by action, and by status. Um, but we also have two different view modes. So we have what I like to call the verbose mode, which shows you all the routes as well as the configure option and all the uh, different modifiers that we have in those routes. So you can see a couple modifiers here. Or we have the compact view that shows you all of all of that in a, in a very straightforward view. So you can see here um, all of Mr. Simmons' uh, routes. So he has a, an Amazon S3 one, SMS, IFTTT, Slack. It looks like there's also an AT&T M2X one and a Losent one. So um, super helpful depending on what type of information you want. So I'll go back to the verbose view and actually click on the new route um, to show you what it's like to create a route. Um, so uh, in the create route panel, you have an option to add a name. So we can say, hey, uh, demo, demo route two. Um, you have the option to toggle the status. And then you have the option to select the topics. So topics are what trigger routes. Um, and they are part of the hologram messaging um, protocol. So all messages have the message body as well as topics. And you can actually add topics after the message, uh, but we'll dive, then, dive deeper into that in another video. Um, but these, like I said, are the triggers. So here, let's say we want to trigger whenever uh, any uh, device comes with the topic of Nova. So I'm gonna click on that enter that. And then here we have a list of all the different uh, routes that we currently have. And again, we're always adding new routes. So definitely keep your uh, uh, keep an eye out for that. And if you have any good ideas, feel free to email us at success at hologram.io with any ideas because we always love user input. Um, so going back to this, you can see that we have a low sand. Uh, we have actually two low sand integrations, uh, Amazon S3, IFTTT, Slack, AT&T M2X, SMS, email, and even two um, custom webhook builders. So one to send HTTP posts and one to send uh, JSON data through HTTP posts. So super powerful. You can pretty much integrate with most mainstream services using those custom ones and uh, integrate really easy using the pre-built ones. So definitely recommend you check them out. Um, for this example, I'm just gonna use SMS. You can see that to make an SMS route, it's, it's super simple. All you need to do is um, add a phone number, so let's, oh, no ease on phone numbers, so let's make up a phone number here. And one of the cool things that, about routes is you also have the option to add operations. And there's two types of operations, modifiers and heartbeats. So modifiers just change the payload, and heartbeats actually um, count down a specific amount of time, so actually we'll check those out. So you can see that it can count down days, hours, or minutes before the, the route is triggered. So it's super helpful if you have a device out there that's uh, out in the wilderness that's uh, using low low energy and you just wanna make sure that there's a heartbeat to make sure that it's still working every once in a while, you can set that up. Um, so we can go ahead with that, click add route. Oops, sorry. So let's let's do every, let's do every 60 days, every two months. We can add that and boom, we've added our route. It's that easy. So now every time a message comes with that Nova um, tag and uh, or the heartbeat occurs, then we're gonna um, get a message to that phone number. And then if I wanted to, for example, uh, configure that, I can just hit configure and say, hey, not, not loving the heartbeat feature uh, for this specific use case. So I'm just gonna delete that, click update route. Um, boom, it's ready. So that pretty much covers all, all about routes. So I'm gonna move on to a console, but uh, we do have a couple guides on routes on our webpage. We're always adding more, so definitely check those out as well. Um, so now I wanna click on the console button here to the left, 
And the console is a mix of all the logs for the devices. So all the payloads that um, come into the dashboard are logged here in the console. Um, so just kind of going over the user interface here, we have an all activity button, which shows us all the activity. However, if you're here to debug, there's also an errors filter that shows us all the um, all the devices with errors. So you can see that here, I guess when Mr. Simmons was testing out his integration, there were a couple um, errors with the route. Um, so that's a nice way to easily find the things that you need to debug. So going back to all activity, uh, we have a filter. So if you want to filter by specific tags or dates or even topics, you can do that um, using these filters up here. Um, you can go to half screen view um, if you want to view something else in the background. So like what devices you're using. Uh, you can also lock this in place. So now if I click on the devices page, you can see, oh, I have all the payloads down here and all the devices up here. Um, or I can go back to full screen view if I choose to. And now uh, looking at uh, the information here, you can see that uh, different uh, payloads have different information. So starting from the left, you can see that here we have the security that is used on a specific uh, message. So security in IoT is definitely a hot button topic. And here at Hologram, we take security super seriously. So we give you three options for securing your messages. We give you a one-time password option. We give you a multi-factor authentication option and then a device key option. So depending on your use case and how secure you want your messages to be, you do have um, different options to choose from. So again, uh, definitely super helpful and super useful to have that there. Um, beside that, we have uh, who the message or where the message came from. So here you can see that Mr. Simmons Dash was sending these devices. Again, temperature and humidity information uh, in JSON, it appears. We also see the topics. So you can see that the Dash's tag got added. Mr. Simmons Dash is one of the topics. We can see that there's also a simple string and a socket API topic. Um, you can then see the triggered routes. So you can see that um, this, uh, this triggers a temperature and humidity route that Mr. Uh, Simmons had. So uh, really helpful for debugging, for information purposes, and just a quick glance of where our information is. And now we also have the option to simulate. So if I click simulate here, you'll see that the information from that specific, um, that specific payload gets automatically added to this simulate from device um, section on the messaging, uh, messaging option that we discussed in our device, uh, deep, device uh, deep dive in an earlier video. But this is perfect when you're trying to, for example, go through errors and debug your routes. Um, instead of having to type things back and forth, you can just lock this window in place, simulate from your device, and really have a super power user troubleshooting session. Um, and then the last thing I want to cover here in this video um, is the view raw option. So when you go to view raw, you have the option of viewing the, the raw message that is sent from the device to hologram. Um, so if you need to do any debugging on that end, that is where you'd find the information for that. Um, so that pretty much covers uh, this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to success at hologram.io. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, we do have one on the settings menu, two on the devices page, and just a quick introduction video. So definitely recommend checking those out. Um, but yeah, that pretty much covers hologram dashboard 101. So thanks for sticking with us and we'll see you soon. Bye.